good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whenever you're watching it. I'm called Mr. Dale Lovett, I'm a physics tutor, and I'll be helping you today to understand a concept in physics. It's called pressure. And but what do you need to understand today? Pressure. The main thing you need to understand in pressure today is what's pressure. And our, our main aim, our main objective today will be mostly pressure in solids and how to calculate the pressure in solids. But no, if you're wondering why, but what is the importance of this pressure? What does it mean in my life? Right? I know you say, what does it mean? What's the, what's the meaning? You don't understand the meaning of it in my life, right? But we need to understand it because I know it's important for you and it's very important. Why? First thing, in construction, look at your house. I know you're going around, you've seen mud blocks, houses. How are they built? The thing, so look for example, they are built like this. The blocks are built like this. And no, you see some, not like this. Have you asked the question why? It's because when they were building it, they had the idea and the concept of pressure. That's why the blocks were played horizontally and not vertically. And no importance in health, right? I know you've gone to us, but you already been sick and a lot of things you, you see that are putting drips on people. Before they did that, the stands were made tall because of the concept of pressure. And also important is, if you look at the lorries, you see Dangote and all the people bringing cement in town. Look at the lorries, how the, how the cars, look at the tires. They have double tires behind and one in front. Why did they put that? It's not because they, they, they're excited to do that, but because of what? Because of what? Pressure. why and now can we understand it so that you can better understand why they do it or why they did it and why it's important for you also to learn so you can become more a better physics student and a better citizen in the world right okay now what's pressure but before you understand what's pressure all about now let's do that activity before we do that okay for this activity i like if you at home you go to your kitchen and bring a knife and a tomato okay i have a knife this is a knife and the knife has like three sides you have this side this side and the other side so i will do the first look at it. this is my first how the knife is placed it's my knife and it's my tomato look at the time observe what happens when i cut the tomato with this side and observe what happens when the other side is used to cut the tomato is that okay so first thing can we go together? Okay. Okay. Just one. Just two. What has happened? I've turned it over. Do the second thing. What has happened? Something has happened. Okay. What happened? I think you observed something. In case one, the knife cut the tomato. In case two, the knife didn't do anything. Why? Oh, well, I think we can conclude that when you use the, this side, when you use the side of the knife, we can cut the tomato. But if we use the side, we cannot cut the tomato. But why can you not? That's a question. Why can you not? And I can think that you cannot because you cannot because the effect, because of the effect of what the area of the knife in contact with what the tomato. If you look at the area of the knife here and the area of the knife here, look at this, the width of the knife and this one. Look at the area of the knife in contact with the tomato has produced different effects. And that effect is what we call it, pressure. So when a knife or when an object is placed on the surface of an object, when it exerts a force or a weight on that object, it produces what? An effect. What? It produces an effect, which is called what? Pressure. So that's what we mean by what? Pressure. So pressure is to find us the effect produced when an object the when an object when exerts a weight on the surface when an object exerts a weight on a surface it produces that effect 
But now, that's the general meaning. But in physics, when you go to UK, you go to USA, whatever place you want to, you'll see the same thing. You'll see that it means that a force is acting at what? At right angles per unit area. Mathematically, I think we are physicists, right? It means pressure is because of what? Force of area. Divided force because per unit means per unit means division. So division it means divided by force on area. And now what's the symbol of pressure? The symbol of pressure means what? It's P, capital P, and the symbol of force is capital F, and the symbol of area is capital what? A. So this is a formula for what? To calculate pressure for anything. But this pressure, as we have seen, we used a knife, which is what? Which sort of material is this? Solid liquid or gas? I think it's solid, right? Okay, good. So it's solid. So we have a solid object. When this object is changed to a liquid, we call it now pressure in liquids. It's changed to a gas. When this knife becomes a gas, it becomes what? Pressure in gases. But today we'll be talking mostly about pressure in what? In solid. That's our concentration, our main object. So we'll be talking mostly about pressure in solids and how to calculate it. So now, pressure in solids. So this is the formula we have pressure. P is equal to F over A. So now in, in solids now, we are talking about this force we have here, we, it becomes what? The weight of the object, which stands for letter W. We have the weight, and the symbol of that weight is W. And we have the area. So we replace now in physics, weight, as you say, it's the amount of birth a body contains on that word. The amount the body contains, the amount of substance somebody has. And which under gravity. So so now you have everybody, anything, the amount of substance, anything that has substance in it, and it exists under this gravity, experience what we have what? Weight, which is a force. It's okay. So weight is a force. It's a type of force. So now this weight is equal to what? Mass, which is small letter M times g, which is gravity, which you call the acceleration due to gravity. That's a symbol word, the small g. This g in life is constant. In, on the earth is constant, in the moon is constant. It has changes from different planets, from different uh, with, um, planets in the world. Different planets have different g. So now it's always in, the, in this form, from lower forms, we use g equals to then meters per second square but in other forms higher forms you can use 9.8 and so on but here i'll be using what 10 meters per square second so weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity so the formula becomes now p which is the pressure of a mass times uh, mass times acceleration due to gravity divided by cap, uh, capital a which stands for the area so for, for pressure in solids the formula for pressure is mass and uh, ascension to gravity divided by what? Area. So now, for us to know about pressure, how can we calculate to, to the identity of pressure, we need to know about the units. What are the units about pressure? Good. So, um, so we need to also identify um, pressure with units because I think you have a name. If they come to your house and ask and call you by your family name, I think everybody in your house will stand up. If they call you this and that, I think specifically, like for example, they come to my house and call them, dude, everybody else stand. If they say they love it, that means that I'm the only one to stand up. So, in pre pressure also has that. If you come and say physical quantity, all the quantities in physics, pressure, force, mass, as we do, all stand. But if you say particular to that thing, then, so we talk about the units. If you call the units only pressure stand, but what is that unit? So to get a unit of pressure, we use this approach is for all units, all physical quantities you can take care of. If you know the formula of that physical quantity. So we got SI unit of pressure. It's SI stands for the system international uh, international system, which means it's a international it's a body which you will judge to put that this one is standard for the, for all everyone in the whole world to use. So we have international system of units of pressure is equal to international system of unit of force divided by international system of unit of what? Of area. 
So the SI unit of pressure is equal to what the SI unit of force is newtons, which is capital N, and the SI unit of area is what m squared. You can write the units like n per square meters, like this, or we write in this other form. So we have these two forms here. In lower forms, they both are okay. But in higher forms, you cannot use this one. Only this one is okay. When you go higher, but in this class, in this form that we use, I'm mostly using but n per square meters. That's what we're mostly using in this form. And you know that this theory about pressure was formulated by Blaise Pascal, and this form, this unit was named in honor of him by Pascal. So one newton per square meters is equal to one Pascal. So that's it. So what's called, you see, I put one Pascal, it means one newton per square meters. So, okay, um, we are talking about, you've seen the unit, you've seen what's pressure, you've seen um, pressure in solids, the formula how to calculate pressure in solids, yeah. and I have seen the units, what identify pressure. I think some of you are still doubting, but how can that formula, P equals to F, P equals to F or A, explain the tomato thing? I want to tell you that, if you see, in the tomato experiment, as I said before, if you look at this thing, it, my hand was, I had the same hand, applying the same force. But what was changing? What was changing on this thing? What changed? Was it my hand or the knife? I think you got it right. I think it was the knife that changed. My hand remained the same. And my hand remained the same. But the knife changed, so the area changed. That's what ha it happened. So you have a smaller area, we have a bigger we have a smaller area, we have a bigger effect with a bigger pressure. We have a bigger area, we have a smaller pressure. And with smaller pressure. And the same example goes, for example, you have a pin. Or you have a needle. When you pierce on a needle, it's more painful, right? Pins so well, pins. But if you use something like a hammer or something like, for example, if you use this, and it would not be as painful as the needle. Why? Because look at the area of the need of the hammer and that of the needle. There are two different things. One is big and one is small. So, so when you have a small area, the pressure is big. When you have a big area, the pressure is small. It's okay. And there are many examples. The same thing. You see a girl standing and carrying a baby. The weight on the ground is different. When the baby is the girl standing alone, it's also different. So you need to start understanding that. The actually now, why is that elephants now can walk on the desert without sinking? Why? Use those formulas to explain that. I think I'll take that home and be thinking about it. But now, okay, let's go back to the next, to next side, to solve next side, because we have talked a lot, and let's try to see how we can solve and prove what we are seeing. It's true. For excitement, for exercise, exercise one, calculate the pressure under a woman's feet if her mass is 50 kilogram and the area of her shoes in contact with the ground is Roman 1, 0 0.02 square meters. Roman 2, 0 0.2 square meters. Can we go on the board and so? Let's see how to do it. Okay, solution. Solution. Roman 1. In any problem to solve, the first thing for you to do is what? Get what they have given you. Move, take out all the things, the elements you have been given. So the first thing they have given me is mass. And I said the mass, the symbol of mass was small letter M. is equal to 50 kilograms. And they have given me what again? They have given me the area. And what's the symbol of area? Capital A. And give me 0 0.02 square meters. So make sure I always write units. And they have given that. What are we looking at? They don't give anything again. I think we are looking for what? Pressure. So now, is there any formula that links this to three quantities? I think so. so. The first formula is that I recall it now. Recall and bring in from what I know from the knowledge I had. So P is equal to mg over what? A. That's what I have. So now, after you've recalled it, now you substitute what you have been given. You know, G. It's always what it's a constant and it's the same no matter what time it uses the same and which is equal to what tell me be thinking about it when I write, I'm writing so M is what 50 kilogram make sure you put all your units times 
Jeez. Ten meters per second divided by the area which is 0 0.02 meters square. We do your subsection very well and you do your calculations arithmetic very well. I think you have something like 25,000 Pascal. I think that's what you have. You have 25,000 Pascal as you answer. So that's how you do your calculation. You make sure you always substitute the units. All right, so that's what I've done. So you look at Roman 2, you do the same. As you follow me, I'll put some some gaps so you have to feel it along as we move along. Is that okay? Okay, Roman 2, they've given us the mass, which is 50 kilograms. They've given the area, area has changed to 0 0.2 to square. So we are still looking for what? Pressure. So now, so pressure now is equal to mg and that, so we have we have Okay, that's what I've done. Am I correct in what I've done? Look at it very well. Am I correct in what I've done on the board? I think if you say I'm correct, then you're wrong. I'm totally wrong. It's out of question. Because if you look at it, the first thing I say you have to substitute the units, the units, and this one's 50 kilo in the mass, it's 50 kilograms. So you have to put the units there. It's not there, so units first. And then, so times now, now next one is G, and then G is what? 0 0.2 is wrong. G is supposed to be 10, so you have to be 10 meters per second square. Now, the area now is what? 0 0.02, you have the 10, which is wrong, so you have to have this one supposed to be 0 0.2 meters square. So if you do all the calculations very well, I think what's your answer? I think you have something wrong, but if you have done it well, you did what I did before, you have the wrong answer. If you do, if you do it right like this, you have something like 2,500 Pascal. But we have 2,500. What? What? I think you know it. You guys are so intelligent. I know you guys do it. I think it's Newton. For the next video, we're talking about why dams, for example, you can't think about it. Why dams are built like this? Like this. With big bases and not with small bases. Go research about it. Next class, we think, the next video, we're talking about that. And thank you for watching. O2 Academy. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Seriously, buddy, go funny. Nobody go call you honey. They can you know what we're going to do? In the corner, you know. Hey, did you break up?